Mid afternoon, as I round our shit corner. You have to be careful here when the foliage grows on that corner. You can't see what's coming till you poke your nose out. Just for a change, the other camera is mounted on top of the dog kennel. It's certainly a nice sunny day, makes a change. And off on to the A449 towards Worcester. Something didn't feel quite right with the brakes. So there's nothing coming, there's a slight change of plan. I was going to head back home, but I don't like riding with dodgy brakes. I pulled in and had a good look around everything. There's no fluid leaking anywhere. I'm just wondering if it was the self adjusting mechanism on the rear brake shoes that had kicked in. I seem fine now. Okay, we'll turn around and carry on. Up over the top of Malvern and British Camp. And there's Sally's place. Not many bikes parked outside there today, for some reason. And down through Ledbury. Here we are, and this is the place. All we need to do now is find everybody. Ah, that looks promising. Oh, or oh, does it? That's right, it's one of these rallies where you can't take the bike on the field. I do wish you'd have said that on the invite, you would have saved me a lot of time and trouble. Oh well, been a nice ride out. And off we go again. Not worth staying, is it? As well filling up a petrol, I thought, rather than go home, why not go down to Porlock? There's a few of the lads are camping down there. Okay, with hindsight, I'd have been better heading from the pub I'd just left in the opposite direction and going down past Tinton Abbey, the scenic route, but no, I'll fill up a petrol and then make tracks towards Porlock. That's the plan. Of course, I totally forgot it was Friday afternoon and there was a half hour queue into Worcester. And then having got through Worcester, there was another 20 minute queue to get round the island in Upton on Seven. But at last we'd have crossed the River Seven, so we're on our merry way. Time for a quick leg stretch at Michael Wood Services. It's late afternoon, early evening, still nice, warm, and sunny. Back up to speed and onto the M5 again. The only trouble heading west this time of night is you've got the sun right in your face. Ah, 
and another fuel stop this time at Williton. Poor luck at last and the sun's just setting as I roll down the hill towards the campsite. Ah, there's our lot. Not a bad ride down there. 212 mile on the clock, so, yep, that's a good day's riding. Saturday was a bit of an epic adventure. Headed down to Boscastle to have a pasty for dinner and to bring a couple back home. Then from there it was down to Launceston, then Oakhampton, then across to Exeter, back up into Taunton, down to Stagumba Station for a rest and a cuppa. Then from there back to the site. All in all that was another 232 miles. And stupidly I left my gloves off so I got the back of my hand sunburned. Will I never learn? Anyway, it's now Sunday morning and I'm off on the way home. It's the boring motorway. I drop off the M5 onto the M50 and then onto the A38. Mainly to get petrol and also because I was getting a bit bored of the motorway. And the sun's still out, despite the weather forecast saying it was going to be light rain. So that's a bonus. Now all the signs were saying there was a 20 minute delay at Junction 1. So I got off at Junction 4. Came up over the top of Romsley, down through Ailes Owen. And as I passed the M5 at Albury, the traffic was flowing freely. So there you go. Typical. Okay, so the rally was a non-event, but I've still had a good weekend, and as I round our shit corner, on the way home, there's 606 miles on the clock, and the weather has been excellent. Mm -hmm.